It is called chat GPT. It's the latest tech innovation blowing people's minds, whether you're into tech or not. It's worth paying attention to because it has the potential to revolutionize just about everything. It's a tool that writes texts, think full articles, full essays, even more in just seconds. And it's all based off of just a few words that the user puts into it. So it makes writing easy and fast, but it's not perfect. Here's case that explains. ChatGPT is a large language model and a form of generative AI or artificial intelligence. <laughs> Did we lose you already? Let's try this. When someone says ChatGPT, what comes to mind for you? I get really excited and I start to speak faster. <laughs> Ryan McPherson is a communications professor at UTSA. I am using it almost every day. And he is enthusiastic about ChatGPT. It is one of the most revolutionary technologies that is going to impact everything we do in society. ChatGPT produces text based on a question that it's asked or a prompt that it's given. Sometimes we struggle to explain things to other people, and this can give us a way to explain it at different levels. So I can say, explain ChatGPT or any other subject like I'm a fifth grader, and it can give me a simple bulleted list that I can more easily understand than going to Wikipedia and searching or going to Google and searching. Or it can write full articles or essays, paragraph after paragraph in seconds. For McPherson, I put in my integrated marketing communication assignment, I gave it the recipe, and it's really good at following recipes. And so it produced a project that was junior to senior level. And I was like, wow, this is gonna change everything. Watch this, I asked ChatGPT to write this story for me. All that content in less than a minute. It not only just accelerates your work, but it gives you more of an op it, it gives you more time to be the editor and the curator of your work. Grace Delgado is a digital marketer who uses the program to help make blogs, ads, and other content. Instead of focusing on that first paragraph, that second paragraph, and your conclusion, it just gets it started for you so you can add the best to it. That is your twist. The ability to create something this thorough, this fast, is new. But the technology to predict language is not. It's actually been out there for a long, long time. Um, it's just getting better over time. My name is Anthony Rios. I'm an assistant professor in information systems and cybersecurity. Language model is basically you're given some input sequence of tokens, and then you're trying to predict future tokens. You can think of a token as basically a word, but sometimes we're thinking about subwords. As an example, um, you know, given the input sequence, the University of Texas at. Right? And then the model would learn to predict things like San Antonio, or Austin, or Dallas. Something I was thinking of is a feature on my email. Autocomplete, right? If I type the word sounds, my email suggests good explanation for it every time. Is that the same kind of thing? It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, you know, and, and autocomplete has been around forever, right? You imagine Google, right? Typing out like some things on a Google search and you're seeing new things come up. But this is far more and more complex than a few words. The company OpenAI debuted ChatGPT in November 2022. At that time, the large language model was trained how to predict text based on, well, a lot of stuff online that had been published up until its debut. Then it was updated mid-March. And with every update, ChatGPT incorporates more current content. You can ask it to come up with anything, really. All you have to do is create an account and you can try it for free. And with every use, this technology is evolving as it learns from us. Like if an output comes from the system, like you're playing with ChatGPT and you say, hey, no, this is not good, or this is good, like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, then it can learn it over time. Um, but um, humans are actually providing that feedback. So how in the world can humans provide that feedback, provide those kind of guidelines for basically everything on the internet. Yeah, they can't, they can't. It's impossible to, to cover everything. So chat GPT is not the answer to every question. No, 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 definitely not. Though some people think it is. The use of chat GPT is certainly raising questions, especially when it comes to ethics. There's huge dangers. First off, we need guardrails because if we come to a place where we trust AI, we know how those movies end and it's not good. 
The world of academia may be the first to wrestle with the pros and cons of this technology. I think a lot of people immediately assume that it's going to be used for nefarious ends, that students are going to use it to cheat and to plagiarize. I think that potential exists, but I don't think it's inevitable. The internet has already provided plenty of ways to cheat. A big challenge for the professors we talked to is how to incorporate ChatGPT and get students to use it responsibly while making sure they're still learning something. It's the subject of professor workshops at Trinity University. Students are trying to get from point A to point B, whether that's you know a credential or a grade or even just an experience that they hope to have in the class. And we try to put the learning in between point A and point B. And this is almost like there's a way around the entire apparatus that we've created that's supposed to teach them something. But ChatGPT is not just about creating something easily and quickly. There could be an upside in education and beyond. A lot of people come from backgrounds where, say, they learned English as a second language. Or maybe, you know, they don't have a very strong, you know, writing history or the educational background, or they just haven't practiced writing very often, right? So this actually is a very good tool to help create professional writing samples. What if I showed my students all the things that this technology is doing well, like it's organizing an essay really nicely, it's got great grammar, it's, it's supporting its claims with evidence. It can take the place of critical thinking for our students. So in education, we're looking for ways to integrate it into our courses, and into our assessment practices with a bias towards making sure that students are still able to think critically and be prepared for the job market. Because like it or not, this tech exists in that job market. We can't ignore the technologies that students will have access to in those lives outside of school. Is using Google cheating, is using books cheating, or using reference guides cheating. At the end of the day, AI is a tool. ChatGPT isn't the only generative AI. It's gotten the biggest buzz, but other models are already out there. So whether for educational, professional, or just personal use, there are some words of caution. ChatGPT makes mistakes. Here's just one example. The bot saying that 13 is not a prime number because it's divisible by three. 13 is a prime number, and it was correctly defining what a prime is and what divisible means. So Somebody might not realize it's false because it sounds so confident. You know, it doesn't say, this may be, it doesn't use modal verbs. I think, or I may, it'll say, this is it, right? And if people don't take that into consideration, there's these unintentional harms as well. New technology always signals innovation. It's up to the user to let it spark and not stifle their own. One of the big dangers here is creativity and innovation. Because if we're all following the recipe and we're all looking for answers in the back of the book, then where is our innovation, where is our creativity, and how do we drive conversations forward in meaningful ways? Interesting, huh? Yes. A, a few questions there. You can watch any case that explains story on demand by scanning this QR code. You can also find explains anytime on the case YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.